It sort of reminds me of the days when we got the first shot of the Earth from the moon, where you really saw this beautiful blue globe floating in the middle of space. And you get that feeling when you look at science on a sphere. It, it looks fragile, it looks beautiful, and it's very compelling. Well, the original thing is I was driving down the road one day and I said, why don't we display things on spheres? And so I got home, I got a beach ball, I painted it white, and I put my slide projector on it out on my deck, and it looked beautiful. I put one of the, uh, one of the Apollo pictures. And so uh, that was 1995, and it took several years before I ever did anything more, but uh, I wish I would have started earlier. The beauty of the system is that there's really no moving mechanical parts. The video projectors paint the image onto the surface of the sphere, and then we can use computer systems and advanced visualization techniques to create the illusion that the system um, is actually animating. And so uh, we essentially play movies across all the different projectors and then use um, custom software to do synchronization across uh, um, what's currently four video projectors. This really brings science to life. It, it, it allows us to translate what can be very dry, very arcane material into something that's beautiful and something that's easily accessible from, from elementary school all the way up through various stages of adult learning. It initially started on a napkin with, a, with an ink pen and went from there. Uh, we did a lot of rough sketches and we faxed back and forth to FSL and Boulder. And uh, we went through probably 10 or 12 designs till we finally got the one that everybody agreed upon. NOAA is an Earth Science Agency, and Science on a Sphere presents an excellent opportunity to show all of the um, Earth sciences that we provide in NOAA. So the real-time weather information can be depicted on it, long-term climate information can be shown, hundreds of years worth of climate data, oceanographic information that can depict NOAA's role in monitoring the sun for solar flares and providing that type of information. We know that there's mountains, but there's great valleys and mountains on the ocean bottom in our National Geophysical Data Center, which is part of uh, our satellite service. They developed this global image of the topography and the bottom of the ocean, the mountains and the valleys at the bottom of the ocean, called the bathymetry. For the National Weather Service, we have long-range forecast over the whole globe. NOAA Research has their studies of uh, future climate. Uh, the satellite service has tremendous, wonderful data, not just of the satellite imagery over the globe, but also their uh, geophysical data center and their climate data center are showing us uh, what the climate has done. This is probably the largest exhibit that NOAA has ever built. Uh, certainly going to be one of the most dramatic that they've ever built because it shows NOAA data from the perspective of a satellite, as if you were out in space looking down at the Earth. And I think this is going to be a new, a new era of, of, uh, of exhibits for our organization, and I think it's going to be a very successful one and put us, put us on the map as far as environmental science goes.